One of the greatest contrasts between President Obama and President Trump? How they use their presidential authority. Obama abused his executive orders to push through his agenda. He would not like to work with Congress. It was an undeniable and blatant violation of as far as possible uncontrolled. Trump, then again, isn't keen on going past what the law permits. He comprehends that to roll out a lasting improvement, you have to do it through a law. That is the reason he cancelled DACA's, Obama's most noticeably awful abuse of executive authority. Presently he's influenced it to clear, he won't sign any orders broadening the disputable program. Via the Hill, White House Chief of Staff John Kelly said Tuesday that President Trump is unlikely to extend the deadline for work permits under the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals DACA, program on March 5 if Congress has not reached a deal on immigration by that date. Kelly told reporters on Capitol Hill that he was not so sure that Trump had the authority to extend the deadline because the program was not based on law, The Washington Post reported. Work permits for DACA recipients will begin to expire on that date due to Trump's decision to rescind DACA in September with a six-month delay. Would you have ever listened to these expressions of Barack the ends justify the means Obama? Barack never waste a good crisis Obama? No, and this is what's in question, there are 690,000 official DACA recipients and the president sent over what amounts to be two and a half times that number to one. Eight million, Kelly continued. The difference between 690 and 1.8 million were the people that some would say were too afraid to sign up, others would say were too lazy to get off their asses, but they didn't sign up. Obama terribly overstepped his limits when he issued DACA. He declined to work with Congress to give an enduring solution, legitimately an inside the limits constitution. It's the reason we are confronting the issues we have today. Obama's fretfulness and short-sightedness left us with the present emergency. Trump isn't Obama. He's not intrigued by driving issues to get his own particular way. He wants lasting fixes for our sickly nation. That implies inspiring Congress to draft an immigration solution that will work. Also, keep on working for a long time. Not at all like DACA, which was a poor, here and now banned aid. Yet, will Congress be sufficiently capable to make that fix? President Trump laid out his goals in the SOTU address. It's dependent upon Republicans in Congress to draft up a bill to fit his vision. In any case, Democrats might not be willing to compromise. Which will prompt more gridlock and conceivable government shutdowns. The inquiry is, will Democrats be mature enough to swallow their pride and work with Trump? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. HT The Hill